Hello guys, so in this class, I'm going to focus on mobile graphic designers, okay? If you are a graphic designer or you want to be one, or you don't have a laptop, you just have your smartphone, yes, I could tell you that you can design with just your smartphone. Just in this series, in this class, we promise to teach you guys, to carry you guys along. So this is an app that you can use to design almost everything with your smartphone, okay? It's called Pizza App, okay? So let me open it and show you how it works. So if you open the app for the first time, you're gonna see an interface like this, okay? So you are going to see something like this. So what it means is down here is just the backgrounds, okay? You could just be choosing backgrounds. You could just choose a background from here. So you could just choose a background from here. So, and use. So let's say you want to, create your own background, a color that you want. So you can just come to this down here, that is block, so, and click on it. Look at it that I'm click on now, that is highlighted with. So you come to, come and click on it, so, and click on color, on color, so, so you can just choose a full background color here. You can just choose a full background color here. You can choose red, pink, any color that you want. Any color that you want is here, guys. So any color can go here. So let's say you still want to choose more color. You can just click on here. It will show you more colors option here that you can just choose. You could just choose. Or if you have a, a color code, something like that. So you could just come here and choose any color. From, and choose any color that you want here. Okay. You get something like this. Or maybe you want to choose a gradient. Okay. What's gradient? Gradient is basically combining of two colors. You can just come here and click on gradient okay so it will take you to gradient options where you could just choose you can see it you can see how cool is this so it's creating you can still adjust the gradient by clicking the plus icon here okay so it will bring you to where you can adjust the gradient you can add more gradient to it press plus so add more gradients to it and all that so you so this is how you can choose if you want to choose a gradient okay let's say i'm i want to work with this gradient now i'll say just click on here that is marked good that is showing a sign of good so boom your background is ready guys so your background is ready guys okay so let's say you want to pick a shape you can just come to this icon here so this one now that is showing me now is the one that i clicked so you could see shape okay you can just click on the shape and just click on the shape and resize it anyway anyhow you want you can just you can still there are still so many options here okay where you could just increase the reduce reduce border so it becomes like this okay maybe let's say i want something like this for my reduce border so you could come here and choose the fill okay the color that you feel that you, that you want to be on your ship okay you could leave it at white you could choose red you could choose pink so you could choose any color you could even use gradient too okay you could use gradient to i prefer white here okay so you can choose your strokes if you want color and all that so i think i'm okay with this so for now so in here now you can still choose other ships other ships okay so you could still choose other shapes here so boom, you click on this good button now you appear so let's say you want to add a text okay let's say you want to add a text maybe probably i don't want this text i don't want this text you could still delete the text you could still delete it so you could still delete it and come to this a here that i said a so and come to this text button and click on it so it will appear to you it will show you here okay or maybe you made a mistake you can undo you could just undo by clicking this by clicking this icon here so you can use this icon here to undo any mistake that you made okay so let's say i'll drag this text here okay or i want to edit this text now i could just come to this edit click on edit let's say um i want to name my graphics design 
massacres okay so okay click on okay so this is boom this is your font this is your text okay so let's say you want to change the font you don't write the font you could just come here you could just throw throw so you see fonts okay here there is indicated fonts here yeah, i show you fonts here's where you could change your font okay you just click on it boom it will show you different kinds of fonts that you could use different kinds of fonts that you could use guys okay let's say i want to pick this one now so okay okay so let's say I, I'm, I'm i want to increase the font size you could still come here and increase the font size okay you could just say come here and increase the font size you could still use here you could still just drag depending on what you want you could still decide to drag like this and increase it like this okay change the format to this and press ok okay let's say i want to change the alignment of the text okay alignment okay i could just come here click on the alignment guys it's very simple this software is very easy and simple to use guys so it's very simple and easy to use so this is the alignment that i choose i just click on okay okay let's say i want to import a picture i want to import a picture yeah i could just click on this plus icon up there okay look at the plus icon that i meant this one that is up there this one that's up there so i could just click on this plus icon so and go to from gallery okay click on from gallery boom so it will take you to where you could just so to where you could just you could just go to the gallery where you could just get a picture that you want to use let's say i want to use this picture okay but there is by the way there is no background on this picture so i'm still going to teach you guys how to remove your background on any picture so let's say i'm using this picture now so i could just click, click on this good icon boom the picture is here okay i place my picture here then i could just increase my picture i could decide to just increase the size of my picture by clicking here increasing the size of i could, could, I could just increase the size of my picture by clicking here and that so let's say i'm okay with it like this okay okay so look at it now so let's say i'm i'm actually adjusting some things and is affecting my pictures and everything i'm using i could just come to this icon here look at it this icon here this icon here now this icon here so allows you to work anything that you're working on allows you to work anything that is on your design let's say i i click on it so i can i could decide to work my images so that it will not be moving around okay so that it will not be moving around i could decide to just click on it and rock it so no matter so and click on it back so no matter what i'm doing here my image will not be affected okay my image will be as affected at all so here is it guys so i could just decide to say I could just decide to add more write-ups to it, add more shapes to it, depending on... There are so many things to be done with this app, guys. I'm just showing you the elementary parts, the basic things that you could do with this app, okay? I'm just showing you the, the basic things that you could do with this app, okay? So you could just decide to add more shapes, add more shapes, depending on what you want. Just decide to add more shapes to it increase the decrease the size of the shape and all that okay so here now you can decide to also change the font color if you don't write the font color you want to change the font color you could just come here click on the font edit okay edit so you search for font color look at color here so you could decide to change it to red you could decide to say no I don't want red. I want something like. Okay, let's say I want to pick a color from my from my dress. Okay, you see what I did. So you could just come here and click on it. So okay. So 
So I'm having a color on my shirt and my design. Okay, so it helps you to maintain a uniform kind of design. So let's say I want to add more write ups. I could just come here and add more. I could just come here. I could just come here and add more text. Okay. Shift my text. Um, let's say shift my text. Sorry. So let's say edit. So I could say free graphics. Sorry guys. Free graphics design class. So let's say something like this. So let's say something like this. I'm okay. Let's say I want to have something like this. So I could just put it here. But you know that it cannot be white now. So you change the color. So you come here to the text. Go to color. Something like black is okay. So okay. So in decrease the size. Okay. So okay, something like this guys. So obviously this. so this is just the introductory part of this course. Okay, this is just the introductory part of this course. So after doing all these things, maybe after adding your designs and all that you want to save, you just come here on this icon top there. So you just come on this icon here. On this icon here this one so so i save this icon here i click on it. it says save as a project you could decide to save as a project or as an image let's say i want to save as a project means that you can you can always come back to it and do your adjustments okay you want saving as an image you want to export it as an image probably to your gallery and all that so you could change it to PNG with your backgrounds and all that. So export. So it's saving direct to your gallery, guys. So it has saved your gallery. So once you go to your gallery, you are going to see your design.